Mm. Hello everybody, I got my energy drink and my coding music on, so welcome to my um, tutorial, uh, which tries to make a DFT code in one hour with MATLAB. And today we start with hydrogen atom and gradually to move towards full finite difference periodic uh, DFT code. Okay, so let's have like uh, 30 grid points uh, per dimension, so we have a total uh, define it as G, so we have totally G cubed grid points. And let's define our space, so we go from minus 5 to 5 on one dimension, and let's define the 3D grid using the MATLAB mesh grid, type help mesh grid, and now we have our grid defined, and we uh, have a lattice, this is a sort of lattice, and we have the grid spacing uh, of H here. I just take it directly from the uh, grid points here. Okay, um, I'll just squeeze these for ease of use. So what I do, I just basically make them one dimensional. So they're in the same order, but this is just now a single row vector of this x, y, and z. And now I can just calculate, for example, the distance from the center, which we will use to make potential. So just basic Pythagoras theorem here. And we then we have our external potential. Okay. Um, and now all we need is kinetic energy and we are done. So let's start by defining the kinetic energy in a finite difference stencil in one dimension. So let's make this helper identity row vector and now we can make our population operator using spdx type help spdx and this is the basic example which is directly there so we have a stencil 1 minus 2 1 which is the population uh, the simplest approximation is and it will be a tridiagonal matrix of size g times g and we divide with lattice constant squared to get it right Okay, and now we using Kronecker product. Check out a Kronecker product on Wikipedia. We'll extend this to three dimensions. So, first, as a helper, defined um, identity matrix, also sparse. And Kronecker product, and this is the first dimension where we operate on with Laplace in the first dimension. Now, the second dimension, and finally, third dimension and we're done so all we have to do is to calculate the eigenvalues and we have the kinetic energy on atomic units is minus half times the Laplacian and then we have the external potential and I just have to put the external potential on the diagonal of this huge sparse matrix so sp dx because now it's a row vector and so we'll be putting it on main diagonal and matrix size now g cubed and we want to calculate one volume and it's the smallest algebraic icon value and now we basically can just display the result so the total energy for hydrogen atom is like and just convert it to EV here also and so we're done and let's see Oops, some errors. Oh, okay. Just on the last line. Okay, minus 0 0.48. So, so we're pretty close to the exact value. It just should be minus 0 0.5. So if you just add some grid points and maybe some more space here, we might get more accurate results. Of course, it gets slower, and that's going to be the main problem of our code, without special tricks. So as you can see, we get even closer to minus 0.5. So, thank you for listening, and next time we'll be extending this to Helium Atom, where we have our ICSI uh, and Hartree equations also to solve. Okay, see you.